Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps the channel a lot. Got a lot planned in today's episode. And I'm going to try to actually keep this one to a relatively good time. Not be close to 50 minutes like the last like five or six have been. Um, and uh, in today's episode, we're going to be upgrading the university as we saw that it leveled up last episode. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of small tweaks that I've done. And then if we have time, I'm going to start kind of doing some smaller things that are going to plan out, uh, that are going to begin planning new regions um, as well. Because, uh, you know, uh, we're just going to focus on the university today because uh, it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to be the majority of the, of the episode. And I know we've done a lot of the university lately, but um, we're, it's, it's, it's growing. And oh, hey, look, that's what we built last episode. The, uh, the good old train yard. It's uh, really really busy <laughs> so oh look at that great shot of the city uh, anyways let's uh let's hop into it uh, so first things first let's show you what I've been doing so I, I finally found an asset that I was comfortable using here but uh, it's not ideal because I would like it if, if cars could also come on the side of the road but this is a two-lane one-way tram track and as you see this is a perfect example of why I wanted to do this um, the green and red line have their own paths. So now uh, there's less clogging, except for at the intersection, apparently. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I think it works pretty good. The one thing that I, that I don't like about this asset is that obviously the park asks, part, the, uh, the park entrances don't really work. Um, and uh, technically this rail right here is um, like for going this direction so as you see this green train it's gonna actually hop onto this track so I gotta figure out how we're gonna do that um, so and then look at this it's gonna hop right back onto this one so I mean it doesn't show that there's uh, cross tracks right here but you know I think for the theme it kind of works but I was going through all my roads and I uh, I didn't find one that I was comfortable using because I, I want this to be like a two-way street for cars um, and it's just, uh, you know, it's a bit of a weird situation that I've kind of thrown myself into, uh, because like, obviously we could just make it a one way, but then cars will have to detour around and it's just not going to really work in this situation. So, uh, it's working for the trams. They get, they space themselves out enough. So what I've done, uh, if we go over onto this, there we go. So they're, they each have two stops now. Uh, on each side, which is kind of what I want. It's, it's splitting up some of the, the traffic here. Um, and, you know, it, it's not necessary. I think it works, though. Um, a lot of people on this one, and there's not as many over here. There were, like, a good split when I started <laughs> recording. Uh, but uh, anyway, so what, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just kind of set it up and then see if it was going to work. And it does work, and a lot of traffic is flowing through here now. Uh, so let's just make sure that... This is set up properly. Oops, uh, wrong one. Uh, okay. Yeah, so they're yielding here for the trams. Perfect. And the trams go through. Okay, so uh, it might get busier than I was hoping because I know that I've cut off uh, access on the on this side. But, um, you know, I think it works pretty good. Uh, one thing I do need to do, though, is why and why I wasn't just doing this all off camera is because... Uh, now that we have this in place, uh, Thornton Square is going to change its demand. And I am going to just kind of bite the bullet on the fact that we're no longer going to require it to be a park to get through here. Uh, so you're not going to have to pay to get in. And that's okay. Uh, probably, uh, you know, it's a bit more realistic anyways. So uh, we'll just bring this connection through. Let's turn Anarchy on. Let's turn Snapping off. Let's do that, and then, whoops. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of readjust it like this. Uh, probably should just be the um, non-decorated path. And we have parking over here. I don't know if that's really necessary anymore, but let's put a side gate in right here. I'm just gonna use move it. And we'll move this tree as well. Oh, there's two trees. All right, and then we will use the path. And we'll just connect up. I'm just gonna readjust this really quickly. 
And we're gonna actually adjust the pathway. All right. So hopefully uh, pedestrians kind of use this area to cross. I guess I should probably put a crossing in, shouldn't I? Uh, right here. Um, okay, so let's use the node controller for that. Oh, look at that, there's a node right there. And we're just going to say crossing. And it doesn't really do much to the look of it, but uh, it will allow pedestrians to cross. I don't know if we're gonna see any use it or not. And we'll do the same thing over here, but this is where the stop is. So, <laughs> uh, perhaps if we go to our tram line here. Yeah, so the stop's right there, which is a bit unfortunate. So I, what I think I can do is I can move the node down with move it. There we go, holy cow. Oh, it's that there's no node there. Okay, yeah, I think I, I did that last episode. So we'll, we'll use our new tool here, the network multi-tool, I'll click it. We'll go to add node. And I'm gonna throw a node in right, right here, let's say. And ooh, I confused that train. <laughs> I might have to delete this train. Yeah, I confused the heck out of it. <laughs> um, and let's see where the where that went. Yeah. So, um, interestingly enough, the reason why I wanted these two lanes is so that the ah, I need to swap these. Okay, let's move this one temporarily down there. This one over here. All right, there we go. So now the green line will come over here and then it can just go this way and the red line can queue up on the left-hand turn lane. And that was the idea. So we'll see if it actually works out. If it doesn't, then, you know, big plan. Just didn't work out and that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna hold Alt. Ooh. This is not the right tool. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna make the crossing here. And then I'm gonna hold Alt down. It's gonna move the node down over here. And then we're gonna see where that tram line jumped to. No, it's right there. And the tram's freaking out a bit. <laughs> Let's see if it gets going. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And it decided to change lanes. All right, well, I wonder if there's something I can do with TMP on this road um, that will make it so that this guy can go here. And this guy goes here. I wonder if that's going to freak anything out. So we'll watch these tramps for just a second. And let's see. So the, the red one queues up into the left hand, left hand turn lane, which is fantastic. And let's watch this green one go. Does it switch? In yeah, look at that. It worked. All right. And it's a bit silly, but uh, that, they, that they have to use this one. But I think it works for like the theory of it, right? That this is a two lane tram track. Um, hey, look at that. Um, yeah, you know, I, th I think it kind of works. Something's happening right now. I think they're just kind of readjusting. We're good. All right, we're good. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it kind of worked out. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's a bit different, but uh, it works. Um, all right, and then the next thing we got to do is uh, the school is now <laughs> not uh, in the right spot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swap uh, the school and the park. Um, so, you know, not a realistic thing to do, but let's just pause the game. I'm just going to rotate it there for now. Uh, and then what I'll do here is I'll just delete the roads that we placed. Um, use move it. Swap this around. Playground, buy a tram. I don't know if that's the best uh, idea in the world, but it's the idea that the city has decided to stick with. Um, all right, so we'll just do that. We'll put this tree over here. And then the school, um, we'll slide in right over here. And we'll go right on this corner. Yeah, we'll use the, uh, the borders of the asset here. All right, and then uh, I guess I can move this over a bit more. So it's less looking like it's a part of the tram line. Uh, and look at that. The pathway kind of goes right into this area where theoretically there could be a door. I don't know if there is or not, if there is any doors. Uh, but uh, okay, let's get the pathways in and then we'll go over to the university. I'll resume the game now as well. Um, and let's see, we can get a pathway right here. 
Let's see if it'll look like it's connecting. It doesn't really want to, so let's try to use move it. Look at that. Perfect. And I think we probably need a fence here. So we'll use the forestry fence. And I'm going to turn all the guidelines off. And we're just going to go from right here right along like this. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe people might be just using that to get across, and that's fine if they do. But uh, as long as the kids don't go running along there, so and we'll do the same right along here. And we'll just kind of finish it off like that. All right. Some fencing in. It's not the best fencing in the world, but it works. All right. Do that. And then we can just adjust it a bit. All right, fantastic. Okay, let's add a couple trees in, and then we will call it a day on this uh, on this build. Just to kind of fill in the space a little bit. All right, beautiful. And look at that, people are using both sides of the tram tracks to get around. All right, pretty cool how it turned out. I like it. Uh, I like the idea of taking cars off of here anyways, um, and kind of forcing them through the main paths, because we are kind of making it like a transit hub, and in a way it is. Look at this. We're m missing out on all this money because uh, the parks can't connect to tram roads. <laughs> And they're just running across. Are they just switching lanes? Or sw yeah, they are. They're just switching uh, switching lines by doing that instead of just switching over on this side. That's funny. All right, well, it works. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the school or the university and let's look at what we got last episode. So let's see uh, where are we at here. So the academic year just ended. We have 11 of 16, that's good. We just need to get a few more students here got enough capacity so I think we just gotta you know maybe get a couple more bus lines in through here and, and boost the residential capacity of the city and then boost the attractiveness of the city or of the university as well um, so let's take a look at uh, what we unlocked here so I think we got this one last time yeah it's right here the commencement office we did last time and the liberal arts academic statue is that this it is that all right the auditorium so you know, I think the school would have multiple of these, but you know, as with all these assets, you gotta check first. Does it have a parking lot? Does it? I don't know if it does. It would probably show parking spaces. Oh yeah, no, I missed them. They're right over there. <laughs> all right, so let's now strategically place this in a spot where there is a road connection. Um, I mean, that would be good right there, but. Ah, that kind of works. We could sw swap the cafeteria here. This was just temporarily placed because we accidentally placed two. So I'll just move that over here. And uh, we'll put that right here. I think this is a good spot for it. It's kind of like a good introduction to the, the school. Now, I know that a lot of like American campuses and stuff like that are all like their own thing. But uh, a lot of campuses in the GTA, Greater Toronto Area, and, um, well, you know, I shouldn't just say that, all of Ontario, really, they, uh, they're, they're a bit interesting. Uh, like, the school I went to uh, had two main arterial roads going right through it. So, <laughs> I don't know what that says about the school, but, uh, you know, it's a downtown school, you know? So, <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. There was, be, there'd be like a million people right here waiting to cross from the, like, the residential areas, waiting to cross <laughs> to get into the school. Um, but yeah, I think this kind of works. We could just put it on the other side. I think the other side has a nicer appeal, but perhaps, yeah, I don't know. I think that works. Um, all right, so let's maybe get another one of these auditoriums in. Um, yeah, let's, let's think about that. Because the other things we have unlocked is the labs. So let's see if the labs have what? I thought I deleted it. Or I moved it. Oh, darn. Okay, well, we'll just lose our money on this one. Um, it's fine. We have enough. 
<laughs> uh, the labs, the labs, there we go. This is a big building, okay. This building I wouldn't mind having right here anyways. I think that kind of works uh, with the way the streets kind of work with it. Um, let's just grab it with move it here and we're gonna lower it down slightly. I don't know if that did anything. No, so it's just a bit strange or just, just it just doesn't like it because of the hill here. So what I think we'll do is we'll take the move it mod and we'll just shift it over a bit so that ooh there's parking over there too okay maybe this spot doesn't work yeah the back of the building isn't that appealing and i wonder so this is labs this is the school of environmental studies i wonder if we could do something like this nah it's too big okay that's fine uh we're just gonna find a different spot for it so i think now that we've kind of filled in this block relatively well we could do that though yeah that's not a bad idea <laughs> the cafeteria is gonna move for the 19th time uh, okay <laughs> we'll just leave that there um, and yeah this could work actually I was curious about how we were gonna kind of approach this this spot for the campus but I think that kind of works Plus, now we get this cool kind of middle of, like, in the middle of the campus here. We're going to set up some pathways here, set up some cool spots to study. Um, and this way, we have a road connections. We have our parking over here as well. Um, and we can kind of decorate this a bit so it's a bit more appealing from the front of the school. Because right now, it just looks like a random university building, right? Uh, so... We can always spruce things up by adding... Oh, look at that. I think, I think this could probably fit over here, too. So we can do something with that as well. There's a door right here, but that doesn't mean we, we need to have a pathway around it or anything like that. But uh, I think that would actually be a good idea, though. So let's grab our... I guess we'll just go with the university path. We'll go with a non-decorated one. We'll put it right beside this. We'll squeeze it in right here beside the fountain and then we'll bring it right along here right over top of that concrete and I think we could probably go a bit closer just kind of hide that lamp in there because I think what would happen in my opinion be that the path would go right against the wall here and I think we need to move these two now. Let's just make sure we're only grabbing this. Yeah, we are. And I'll push this back ever so slightly. I'm gonna hold Alt down. Oh, never mind. Control is it? Nope. Just don't hold anything. Just do do it properly the first time. <laughs> All right. And then let's try to grab this segment. There we go. And I'm just gonna curve it out a bit to make it a bit of a nicer connection. All right. And then from here, let's just connect up like so perfect okay so we've kind of increased the walkability of the campus a bit um, and then when we get to the decorating we we'll, or we also have a smaller spot here for like the academic statue too I think which is coming yeah one of these two dance club oh never mind liberal arts statue too media lab and the bookstore oh hey look at that campus bookstore that kind of works. This is right at the entrance of the school. Yeah, I kind of like that. Because otherwise it would just be like lower kind of density. And this way it's kind of like a cool introduction to the city. Plus we have this pathway now, which now that we're doing a building here instead of a park, I guess we can... Oops. Come on. There we go. I guess we can scooch this back a bit. Right in the middle here. Look at that, people are using it. Fantastic. Okay, so let's take the pavement tool here and just fill in the pavement. Uh, just like that. And then we'll also bring the pavement right along here and here. Let's 
cool. And this is not pavement, but I think maybe gravel could look nice in here. Uh, let's, uh, let's take that out again. I don't know if I want to commit to anything like that right here. Because I think just, like, simply decorating it would probably be sufficient. But, uh, you know what, I kind of kind of like the bookstore here. It, ha it has parking, though, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, bookstore could be cool over here, too. I think we'll leave it for now. Yeah, all right. This is turning out pretty nicely. Uh, let's see where we're at. Uh, yeah, we need to get a ton more attractiveness into this campus, which makes sense. So I think we've added everything we needed to. Yeah, we haven't unlocked the economic school yet either. Uh, so I think now it's just a matter of adding in a couple more buildings for students to uh, use to study. So I'm thinking the study hall. I mean, we're, we already have one, but like I'm thinking we're going to need a couple more buildings for the students to uh, to work in, right? So let's just kind of double up a couple of the big ones. So that doesn't work that way because of the parking. So I think what we'll do is we'll just slide it right over here then. And it doesn't work because of the parking over here either because how the heck are you gonna get a car in there? So I think what we need to do is either nix this plan and put it somewhere else and get a different building type. And only, it's a study hall, right? Do we have a library yet? When does the library come in? Groundskeeping, drama club, gym, calf. Do we not have a library? Or am I just blind? Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's delete this building. And so we've got the gym right here. Yeah, we definitely need to get a couple more things. I think I'm thinking like a dorm could probably go over this way. All right, this cafeteria needs to probably move or get deleted finally. <laughs> okay, we'll leave this, I guess. Okay, we'll just make a nice pathway connection here. And then we'll get some pavement in here. Whoops. There we go. Hey, look at that. It's a pretty cool spot to sit. And I guess we'll leave the grass over there. Yeah, all right, that works with me. Um, and now, you know, I, I, I kind of just want to get one more building in. And, you know, we've already got the lab over here. But I really like the look of that lab building. Perhaps what we could do is we could, you know, move the lab building and get... I don't know, that wouldn't really work. We already tried the lab building here, but we didn't really get this building properly in here when we could have. So let's do that. So we'll place this down over here. This isn't, this is, uh, oops, what was it again? The auditorium, yeah. So, you know, the school has two auditoriums. It needs two auditoriums. Um, but let's get uh, the pavement and let's fill it in right to about here. Oops. Oh, come on. So we're slowly moving it. There we go. So now we have an ability to uh, get parking over there and then what I think I'll do here is I'll take a pathway right here and I'll bring it right back like so and then we could also get a crossing right here actually that wouldn't be the worst idea okay let's grab this node I'm gonna hold alt down Shift it right down to here. Grab the node controller. Crossing. Perfect. 
And now we get students that can access the back of this building here. So let's change this again. Perfect. And then we just need to get this small connection back up. All right, so I think we need to get gravel back in here now. Or I guess there wasn't before. And we need a pathway back here too, okay. Uh, let's grab the pathway. And I guess what we can do here is we can get this come down right here and then let's grab the node controller. I think there's a node right there with the crossing on. Let's just move it, just to put it right in the center of the pathway we wanted. There we go. And then with the TNPE here, Let's put a crossing light. So now there's a stop right here and there's a stop right here. Um, now uh, students can cross on the other side. Um, all right, so this area is probably just gonna kind of, oh, whoa, the pathway or the, the tram line's going funky. There we go. So this area is probably just gonna have to kind of be a bit of a transition zone could get a pathway in and then out like this that could work so let's get this one right here right up to the tram line connect up and then this way we can kind of control it by having a node here too right so we can raise this up a little bit it's a bit steep so why don't we just adjust it ever so slightly and then now we can get some gravel in here which no, if uh, you didn't watch the previous ones, I think this looks like mulch from this guy. So, you know, less maintenance to take care of, right? So I think it kind of works in these situations. All right. So um, let's just quickly decorate this area up with couple things. Let's see if there's any cool rocks we could add in. I think the bigger ones are just too big. Yeah. Um, okay, why don't we do something a bit cooler with some trees then? We'll use our favorite tree for this series apparently. <laughs> and we'll get a couple of these clusters in. Let's get two on either side. And then we'll get some of this low vegetation. Uh, not that one. And then let's get a different one maybe. Okay, and then let's slide over here again. Let's grab the smaller tree of this same kind. We'll throw it right in the middle. There we go. Help filled in the space a little bit. And now students can use it to walk back and forth between the dorms, which are over here. Um, and one episode soon, once the campus is complete, all these green spaces here are gonna become uh, like outdoor living areas for students. There's also this spot right here, which I guess should probably be filled in with something because it's in a pretty good spot. And I mean, that's too big. I don't need anything like that. Drama club, no. The cafeteria? <laughs> um, libraries won't fit. I wonder if this, this will fit. No, it doesn't really fit. The lab's too big. Um, okay, well maybe we can use some different asset to kind of fit in here um, as well. So let's check out where the university's at. So we're at 1200 capacity which is not a lot and you know that's kind of expected um, but uh, that is because we haven't added in any sports stadiums yet and if we look at the sports stadiums there's a couple here that I'm thinking about adding in uh, the baseball diamond I want to add in as a city asset um, the football stadium it's just this just wouldn't exist as a Canadian university prop. As a city prop, maybe. The basketball arena, I also like using as a city prop. It, this is just too big for a Canadian university. But these two assets together is not the worst idea. So um, I'm not gonna put it right here, but 
We got this one and then the aquarium or aquarium, <laughs> the aquatic center. Um, I think these two assets together work really well. Um, not together together, but for this type of, of school. Uh, so I think what we need to do is we need to look at getting some roads out over here and making starting to make like a secondary campus zone across this tram uh, line. So I know we've already kind of expanded over here and we should probably look at zoning in this area as well. Um, so why don't we, I'll save it just in case there's a building I want to throw in there for the, the school. But uh, I was thinking just pathway right here, housing on this side um, could work. But let's get a couple more roads out through here. So let's start off with an asymmetrical road because there's going to be traffic in uh, using these. So we'll connect in like that. Um, and then let's see where the next connection would be. Ah, well, we don't really have a plan. So I think what we'll do is we'll start off with just that. And then I'll also connect in right here. All right. Um, now let's look at getting a bit of a frontage road. Uh, let's just use our basic roads for now. And we'll see where the kind of the wind takes us. So let's just drag this out to about there. Do the same thing. Um, and if we do this, we can make a bit of a park along this side, which could be a bit easier for traffic. Uh, we could also add like housing or dorms. Ooh, I don't like that idea actually. Um, let's delete that then and give it a bit more space. Let's see if dorms will fit in here. For one, is it? Yep, it is. Uh, yeah, they do. So I want one too far. But that's okay though because we can make it a bit of. Uh, yeah, I think this could work. This way too, we can also get a couple more assets on here. I think the study hall was a bit too wide. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take it back a little bit farther. Perfect, okay, so um, let's just upgrade what we have here. Um, why don't we just make the whole thing a four lane connection here? There it is. All right, so now that we kind of have an idea of where this is going, um, let's, I'm not gonna do anything with this today. Uh, let's grab our sports assets. And what I'm thinking here is we get this close enough to the highway. Um, I'm thinking about my school when I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, the football field at my school is like right beside the, my old school, I guess. It's like right beside the highway. Um, whoa, what the heck? All right, when, when did that happen? Um, all right, so this could be cool. I think it needs to be a bit farther away though from uh, this hill. So I wonder if the aquatic center could go right over here. I mean, it's on the hill too, but I think that's a pretty cool spot for it. There's parking in the back. All right, never mind. Um, let's just pause the game here. Let's use Move It. Or actually, let's just use the uh, in-game tool. What? Oh, geez, what am I doing? Holy cow. Um, yeah, okay, this, maybe this thing over here will be a bit better. Struggling a bit to find a good spot for this. It could also fit right here, couldn't it? Uh, not really, because of the way the asset is laid out. I don't think it'll fit properly here. I bet we could squeeze it in. And that could work, but this is kind of taking up a lot of prime downtown real real estate, real estate. So uh, why don't we move it over here then? Kind of setting this area up as a bit of a sports area for the school so that is fine with me um, but now we need to just make sure we get a road over here and um, what I think is gonna happen here is so we're gonna get the 
uh, track and field stadium over here, which is gonna like double up as like the football stadium. But like right now, it's set up as track and field. Uh, we're gonna get some housing over here to kind of finish it off, and it's gonna transition into a bit of a wealthier neighborhood over here. Um, and I think what we'll do is we get a couple more campus buildings through here to fill it in, and we'll really try to stick to limiting the campus on this side of this uh, this road here, which is uh, Phillips. Is it actually Phillips? It is Phillips. Okay. If you want to name that road, go for it. Um, anyways, let's get the track, track field in here. And I think this is a perfect spot right about here. It's right in the middle of this street. Yeah. All right, look at that. So unfortunately, it has trees. For some reason. So I think we'll have to just move the highway a little bit. Alright. Thank y'all. And we'll scooch this one over a little bit too. And we'll scooch this over a little bit. That's good enough. And let's smooth it out. Actually, let's uh let's level it. Oops. smooth out this side though so what I'm thinking is we get just a pathway that goes around it and that'll help frame it a little, a little bit and we can use like a different path than we've been using so I'm thinking the zoo path looks kind of cool so uh, let's frame it off of this I guess and we'll cut right through like so. All right. And unfortunately, these darn trees are in the way, so I'm going to have to twist and turn it until the tree isn't in the way. And you know what? We'll just say it's lazy landscaping and they haven't <laughs> trimmed that bush back in a little bit. All right. Let's get that down to the ground level. Awesome. And then let's go do the other side. So. Yeah, this is going to work out. Take it back to about here. And then following the edge of the asset, we'll connect up. Yeah, there we go. All right, different pathway. And then um, when the time comes, uh, you know what, I think we can probably do that now, actually. I was going to say, we're going to fill this in with some park assets. Uh, let's grab, uh, let's go with the decorated path. Let's see if this kind of blends in. Not well at all. All right. So we're going to go with uh, this path then. We'll make the connection. Never mind, we will not make the connection that way. We're going to draw it in by hand and then turn snapping off. Snapping off. There we go. Do something like that. And then if we hold Alt down, oh, never mind. If you just drag it in, that should make a connection. So we're going to scooch this over like this. Okay, we're going to copy that. And we're just going to try to get it on the exact same side over here. Ah, so we are a bit off on both sides, unless the asset is off centered. No? Okay. I think we're good. Just gonna scooch this over a little bit more. Okay, so we should have a connection there too. Um, now we can get a couple of park assets to kind of add to this. So this, um, in theory, would be a pretty good size football track and field mix use for a Canadian university. Not gonna lie. I know if you're American and you're watching this and you're like, holy cow, my school has has a, a football stadium that looks like uh, looks like this. And yeah, well, Canadian football isn't as popular. Um, but right now we'll say that the football field is like a mixed use for like maybe soccer too, um, stuff like that. And I think we've kind of left ourselves enough space here to get 
some pretty good uh, doubling up on some assets as well. Um, and you know what we should do right here is we should take our zoo path. There we go. And get a nice solid connection right here. Don't know why it has to be a different color, but uh, it does apparently. So um, there we go. So now students can cross over there. And now let's just take a quick look at how the, well, first of all, make sure that this is actually in the campus. Okay, it wasn't. That was lucky that I remembered to do that. <laughs> uh, and then let's take the campus right up to here. All right, so this is part of the campus. Is it, or is it? Okay, it shouldn't be. Let's just try to get this a bit more detailed. All right. Works, it works. Uh, okay, let's play the game, let's throw it on three speed. And let's see, so is it really only that? Oh, it doesn't have water and everything. I wonder if that is affecting it. And look at this. The time of the episode has already gone way over than I was hoping. So, uh, that's okay. And we'll bring this over. Bring a pipe through here, too. And we'll extend this one. All right. Let's see now how it is. It is that... Okay. So we do need to add some more to the university. So why don't we look at pumping that out really quickly. And I think what we'll start off with, hmm, so we have 8,000 students, student capacity is that much, but how many students can live in these three dorms? 400, 800, 1,200. Um, okay, yeah, we definitely need a couple more. And look at this, traffic is a booming. All right, we're gonna need to get a different connection through here then. Uh, so we will get a four lane connection here and a four lane connection here. And hopefully that helps out a bit. It'd be nice if they didn't all take the tram road. So I think what we can do then is let's lower the speed limit on the tram road. And let's see if that kind of helps out a little bit. Let's put that back up to 50. All right, so we also need parking. Kind of forgot about that. And we also will need buses through here. So that will be a challenge. And maybe I shouldn't have done all that other stuff at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> um, all right. And should I do that? No, I shouldn't. We'll make that just a pathway connection. Uh, all right, well, you know what? I think we're gonna need a secondary episode of this because I just don't wanna make this episode too, too long. And we do have a lot more to go on this. So what I can do is I can, I can let this kind of sim out for a little bit, and then we're gonna come back. And then for like a half episode, what we'll do is we'll add in some dorms, some extra buildings. This is a great little area for like a park, for example. Um, parking, maybe through here, along here. Maybe we can get another one of these out right over here somewhere. But uh, I think this has been work. This works out pretty good. Uh, well, we don't really need this. That was just temporary. Um, and I think this kind of turned out uh, pretty good. Uh, let's just kind of try and draw out a couple more roads that will kind of show the limit of the school here. All right, so perhaps okay, that guy took this road. That's good. All right, well, I think we'll just end it here then. I don't know if I've said that like twice already, but uh, let's actually do that now, Steven. 
turn off these traffic lights. Uh, and I think, are there any more? Hey, look at that. People are going for the traffic and field event. And people are using uh, the trams too, apparently. Fantastic. All right. We are making just a tiny bit of money and that's perfectly fine. Um, anyways, uh, let's zoom out for camera mode. What did we build in today's episode? We built this stuff on the bottom of the screen and we built the track field uh, tracks and everything like that. So why don't we kind of get a cool look over here with the school in the background of everything that we've kind of, or some things that we've added in um, for the thumbnail here. Um, let's try to get them in focus. All right, have a great day and peace out.